Hi everyone, I wanted to show you today the furniture that I built for um, Winnie's cottage. Um, if you remember, I've made that witch called Winnie and out of clay and wire and stuff. And I made her a house which I've called Tumble Down Cottage. And the reason I've called it Tumble Down Cottage is because it does look quite broken and dilapidated, but it is held together by magic, so it's not you know, it's not going to collapse even though it looks, and it's like, it's really strange with odd angles and shapes to it and everything. Um, and obviously I've made it so it looks like it's made out of old wood. It's covered in cobwebs. I'm going to put some like um, gargoyle things or some such on the outside at some point. Um, but for now I'm working on the um, interior and making sure I've got furniture and stuff. Because all I'd previously got is I've got a spell room sorted, apart from, like, some stuff I need to put on the walls. And she'd got a bed, and then that was about it. So what I've done now is I've got this kit from Amazon that I ordered, which was, like, it's like to make a library. Um, but I bought it on, pur like, purposefully to make Winnie's library. So this is her room that's, like, her study room. It's got all her books, her spells all her research, her diaries, her witchy studies, um, books that have been passed down from generation to generation, like, you know, historic witches have kept spells and potions and things and studied herbs and animals and creatures and stuff, and it's all been passed down over the years. That's the idea behind the library. And it's a place that Winnie would go um, when she needs to work on a new potion or a new spell maybe or she's got to revise something like maybe someone's asked her to help her with something but she's not quite sure off the top of her head exactly which spell to use or which potion so she's got to do a bit of research and figure out exactly how she can can help um the idea behind like the the idea I have for the character in my head of Winnie is that she's She's not an evil witch, she's quite friendly, she's very helpful, she loves to help people um, and, you know, she will She will do the best she can. So, like, if someone comes with her, maybe they've got an infection in their foot or their house is haunted or maybe for some reason their crops are failing, She, they'll come to her and she will either cast a spell come up with a potion or a lotion. She would do something to help the situation and help the people. Um, and she has all this knowledge and all this information in her books. Um, and it's all in this this big library where she's got shelves of endless potions and knickknacks and books and all that sort of thing. So what I'm doing here is putting together the big... Um, corner unit which is like it's like two bookcases that join together around a corner shape and they've got it's got like a cupboard built in now the cupboard you can't open it from the front it's just like a frame for the door and you stick a piece of perspex on the back which is what i'm doing here and then glue it onto the front so obviously if i want to put anything in that cupboard i have to put it in from the back which is fine because the back is open it's just pushed against the wall um I'm working out exactly what I want in there. I'm thinking I want, like, some potion bottles that I'm going to make. Maybe some creatures or, you know, maybe jars of, like, I don't know, bat wings and unicorn teeth. or You know, I'll, I'll put some weird and wonderful creations in the cupboard. Um, and on the shelves it will have, like, jars of samples of things and potions and things as well as having, like, hundreds of books um, with all her research and like studies and information that's been passed down from generation to generation from ancient witches, witches from long ago in her family and it's just been passed down through the generations um this kit um well, it was expensive but it's meant it did mean i didn't have to cut out all the individual niggly bits of wood I didn't have to measure to make sure I got the scale right. Um, I didn't have to prime it and then paint it. I could just paint it. So by spending that bit on the furniture, it's actually meant that I have um, saved a lot of time. Because I do enjoy doing this project, but it's not something where I'd want to make all the furniture individually from scratch. Um, 
I do I don't mind doing these because it's like it's like doing a jigsaw puzzle and I'm quite satisfied at the end that you get something that looks decent and works for what I want so that's why I bought this kit because I was like I'm not going to try and find like some odd tables here odd cupboards there from like you know charity shops or whatever because it's very rare any doll fern like dollhouse furniture will turn up it's very rare you even find the plastic barbie stuff let alone any like wooden 12th scale stuff and I don't live by any shops that do you know dollhouse furniture or anything like that and that stuff can be quite expensive anyway so I went for this kit and as you can see I've built I built the corner unit then I built um a yet there's like a yellow set of drawers on the left there you can see on the screen they're currently what they're weighed down by my um, bottle of painting water because the one side was slightly bent and kept popping out of place as I was waiting for the glue to dry I found that worked quite well actually I just used the weight of the um, water jar to hold it straight while it's set and it's been absolutely fine since this is like a little corner you like a little cupboard like a small um tiny bookcase um and on here i'm probably gonna have like jars of strange things that she's collected over the years that sort of thing i haven't fully decided exactly everything that's going to be on the shelves i did make all pretty much all the books out the kit because i wanted the library to look very full of books like she's been studying and learning her craft for years and years and can basically fix or cure pretty much anything um so I've made pretty much all the books and there was some interesting photos, like pictures in this kit actually to go in frames. There was like one where it was like an, an anatomical picture of like a um, mermaid come siren type thing. It looked more like a siren without it got spikes on its um, dorsal fin and everything. So I thought that was really interesting because that's like a mythical creature and obviously that fits in with the theme. There was some more where it was like insects as, like, and they were drawn as like studies like anatomical studies as well so i thought those were quite good so i framed those and stuck them on the wall in winnie's library so maybe she studied herbs and insects and mythical creatures and there's a picture of an owl on the wall as well and the idea behind that is maybe that's a fam an old familiar of one of her relatives that sort of thing um because i want to get pictures on the wall as well and shelves and that sort of thing in the kitchen, I've started, I used one of the pieces out of this kit, actually, um, because it didn't look much like a library piece of furniture. It looked more like a piece of kitchen furniture with the cupboard at the bottom and the two shelves above it. So that's fitted really well into the kitchen. I've got pots and pans on there. All I've got to get for the kitchen now is um, some sort of chair. There's only a stool in there at the minute. I want to get some sort of sh chair a cauldron and some sort of like wood burning type stove and i have seen one i can order actually which is like a little wood burning so it's only about it's between three and five quid which is nothing um and i'm going to use that because the idea is like her house is really old it's like an ancient house it's been built out of wood and it's been adapted and built on and bits added over the years by various generations of witches that have lived there. Um, so and I want so I want the inside to look quite old and I don't want it to look like it's got anything modern in there. So there's no modern heating or anything. It's all like wood burning stoves, um, open fireplaces, that sort of thing. Um, so making this stuff even though it looks quite modern now what I did later on is painted it black and made it look a little bit old and battered um, and that fitted in with the um, style of the house I found once it once they were painted black it did actually fit in really well um, and because this is 12th scale and I've actually it, accidentally the house ended up being roughly 12th scale like the size of the rooms um, so being able to buy kits like this and make the furniture is a lot easier it saves me a lot of time and also i can get it so it looks quite decent um because um obviously i don't want to put stuff in there that's too big but i don't want to put stuff in there that's too small 
The only thing I have found is I'm probably going to have to make a new Winnie because she's too big for the house. Um, she didn't look too bad when it was empty, but like sticking this furniture in and she stands next to it, she looks like she's a giant next to it, like, you know, in a tiny library. Um, so I do need to reduce her scale down to 12th scale. So what I'm going to do is get a 12th scale doll to, you know, like a dollhouse doll. And then I'm going to put epoxy sculpt on and turn it into a witch. I'll make it look the same as Winnie does now. It's just obviously it's going to be based off a 12th scale doll. So it'd be a bit more in keeping with her. Um, and yeah, so this is the furniture that I've been making. And then after the glue set, I just painted everything black. Um, and I'll show you a picture at the end of what the um, furniture looks like. 